welcome to our discussions on rely, uh, the relevance of accounting, in particular the financial statements. In the next few sessions, we will try to understand what are these financial statements meant for and who can use it and in what way they can be used. One of the tools which is very commonly used is called ratio analysis, which can be used by uh, by the financial statements or a financial statement analyst and come to some decision and some understanding about the financial status of the organization. But however, there is an assumption that the financial statements are have been prepared based on certain generally accepted accounting principle. So, when you start analyzing the financial statements, you cannot and should not ignore this particular fact that they are based on certain accepted accounting principles. Moreover, these principles also give a some uh, liberty to the preparers of the financial statements to use certain assumptions. So, assuming that the financial statements are prepared on an accepted accounting principle, assuming that they are prepared on the basis of the assumptions made by the companies required as per their own business. So, we can come to some understanding about the business by seeing the financial statements. So, as I mentioned ratio analysis is a tool for that particular way or that particular analysis, which is helps us in understanding the financial position. Ratio analysis can be used to undertake an inter company comparison, can also be used to undertake an intra company analysis. In case of an intercompany, I compare Infosys, let us say, with Satyam or Vipro. Whereas, in case of an intracompany, I will try to understand the performance of a company over a period of time, maybe from the last 10 years or last 5 years. But what do you want to analyze? What do you want to compare is an important question. There are several issues which can be compared, but let us try to understand through the word performance. We want to understand the performance of a company, of a company like Infosys or a Wipro or Tata Steel. So, the performance can be explained and defined in several ways, but for the time being for this particular session or these series of discussions, we will try to limit our understanding of performance as the reflected by liquidity, solvency, efficiency and profitability. In other words, ratio analysis will help us in understanding the liquidity position, the solvency position, efficiency position and the profitability position of a company. What is this liquidity? The liquidity is an ability to meet short term financial liabilities of a company. Solvency is an ability to meet the long term position liabilities. Efficiency is ability to use the assets efficiently and profitability has two different aspects. Profitability shows profit distributing ability and profit generating ability. So, the ratios that can help us in throwing light on the liquidity, solvency, profitability, efficiency put together will throw light on overall performance of a company. So, the risk ratios can be called liquidity ratios, solvency ratios, efficiency ratios and profitability ratios. Each group of ratios, there are several number, you know, there is no limit to the number of ratios one can calculate, because after all ratio is a relationship between two financial items and these financial items can be picked up from the balance sheet, from the income statement or from the cash flow statement. So, therefore, you can calculate as many ratios as possible. However, to make it meaningful and also to bring in the rigor without capturing or without sacrificing the relevance, maybe there is a need to make a selection of relevant ratios. For example, we can calculate on average 5 for each category and put them together as a 20. In my understanding, 20 ratios together will give me a robust understanding about the performance of a company. However, one has to be careful that the calculation of ratios can be done in isolation, but the interpretation of the ratios cannot be done in isolation. What does that mean? That means, when I calculate the liquidity, 
I can calculate the liquidity ratios in isolation, ignoring solvency, profitability and efficiency. But while interpreting, it is not possible. So, therefore, while analyzing the financial statements through ratios, we calculate in isolation, but when we start interpreting, there is a need to see the interdependence of these ratios and of course, there is a framework called DuPont analysis. So, we will take one by one like liquidity, solvency, efficiency, profitability and understand how the financial statement can actually throw light on the performance of an organization and at the end we will try to combine them by using the framework of the DuPont chart. Thank you very much.